So we would like to find the value of x in this interval such that 2 cosine of pi x over 5 that equals 1. Okay, and uh, uh, the value or let me just say values because there may be more than one value in here. So the first thing we may do is uh, this that let's just replace uh, this by say theta. So when we do that what happens then is that uh, we get 2 cosine theta equals 1 right and uh, cosine theta then would be how much that will be 1 over 2 okay and uh, then that means that theta would be pi over 3. I mean, we can go back to our unit circle. So here, uh, cosine of theta is 1 over 2 when pi is pi over 3 and also 1 over 2 when theta is 5 pi over 3 during its just, uh, you know, one complete period. And we shall take more values if necessary so what did we note uh, from the unit circle that theta is either pi over uh, 3 or the other value was what or theta is 5 pi over 3 right okay so we got 5 pi over 3 and what is that going to mean this means uh, that uh, uh, theta is pi over 3 so theta was how much or let me just take it from here the same value theta is pi x over 5 because we have to solve for x okay so this uh, means that uh, we got this here right and uh, then pi's will cancel and what x will be then x will be 5 over uh, 3 and uh, that of course is in the interval 0 8 so we got one value here and the other value is what the other value is oh sorry about that okay the other value is 5 pi u, theta equals 5 pi over 3. What is that going to give us? That is going to give us that uh, uh, pi x over 5 is 5 pi over 3, which will uh, give us x equals how much? Pi's will cancel. So x will be 25 pi over 3 and this wouldn't be in this interval because slightly more than 8. So with these two values that's all that we have here and uh, of course if you look at the period of uh, uh, cosine of pi o x over 5 that period is 10 so here these are the two values that we have in here so anyways our interval of interest was 0 8 and 5 over 3 is the only value that belongs in there and another way to do this uh, will be so to use our graphing calculator and what we would do for that is uh, first we have to make sure that our mode is in uh, radians all right so here we go we set that so take say for instance uh, you got 2 times uh, cosine pi x over 5 as our first one right so let's put it in pi x divided by 5 okay and uh, then my second uh, value is what simply a 1 so we will write a 1 
okay or a clear then write a one and let's clear this because we don't need a third one okay and uh, for the window we have uh, 0 8 for our x value sorry i had to go to window so we'll say x min is uh, 0 x max is 8 all right uh, you know this that uh, the uh, uh, i mean cosine has uh, range between negative 1 and 1 so we will have to change this to we can change this to say negative 2 and 2 okay so let me just reduce the size here a little bit okay so that I can put negative sign here so we got this as 2 right now let's graph this so this is cosine between 0 and 8 all right uh, two cosine between 0 and 8 i'm sorry and you can see there is only one place where they intersect and how you can find it you can just go to this calc feature so we want the intersection so let's press 5 okay so say this is my first curve right this is my second curve and it says what our guess is well we are on this side so it will still lead us here so say yes to this guess and the answer is x equals 1.66667 uh, which is approximately how much 5 over 3 so this is this is how we can do it by using technology all right